First of all, name and address, Mr. Chet. Uh, Lawrence outside. Southern came to White Place. I live right next door to this Uh, first of all, and just to address the traffic a little bit, the traffic on any way out of the junction to White Place is, is tremendous at the moment. It's almost impossible at times of the day to get out there. Uh, now, this, we keep talking about this proposed building at 240 Hemingway Avenue. There's no entrances on Hemingway Avenue. 90% of it is not facing Hemingway Avenue. It's on the White Place. It's a development that is on the White Place and not 240 Hemingway Avenue. It doesn't, there has no entrance and approach from Hemingway Avenue. Uh, I would be very, very, very happy to see the entrance and exits to the uh, parking lots put on Hemingway Avenue. At least I can still get in out of my street. Uh, you're looking ahead somewhere, the state or somebody is looking ahead to somehow uh, slowing down Hemingway Avenue so people can, you know, there's been a big lot sitting right on our corner. And if there's an accident down there, every week. Uh, all right, on a proposed building lot, uh, zone change. I'm wondering if we really need a zone change. Uh, you set a precedent for the center of East Haven. It says there's no land available in the center of East Haven. Why well, we finally found one little tiny lot. What are we going to do? Tear down the rest of the center of town so we can move some senior, I'm all for senior housing. I'm a senior myself. But I think you've got to do it properly. Uh, I think it's much too busy for the size of the lot. The White Place is a dead end street. It has no uh, rotary at the end of it. I don't know, cul de sac at the end of it. It's a straight street and it just ends. So there's the trouble turning around up there and getting it out. Uh, there's a lot of big problem for the uh, fire department. Uh, ambulance emergency equipment getting up there and they have to turn around and get out of there, especially if there's a fire. Uh, but I want to point out again that the entrance, both entrances, are on the white place. So that traffic all has to come out. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to assure that these are condos for senior citizens. Uh, I hope that's true. When I look at the plan of the house, I kind of wonder a little bit. Uh, it's a pretty busy uh, thing for the uh, size of the lot. Now, most of the neighbors, and myself and a few others, have said, we'd like to see something built there, but we maybe would like a little bit less. You know, maybe a couple less units or whatever. Now. Now I understand uh, this is going to be senior housing 55 and older. Now it does state in the rules somewhere along the line that you can have an 18, a person 18 years of age living in these apartments, a member of the family. Now I don't know what it means, one person, two persons, three, or three persons. I don't think it any states anyway. So you could have more than two people in these apartments. Now, if you look at the plans for the house or houses that they want to put up, the units, on the first floor, this gentleman just said that there's a bedroom on the first floor, which is, I, I guess is quite low, and you have to have a bedroom. Well, I have a set of plans, and there's no bedroom on the first floor. There is a den, which has a closet in it, which I don't think I ever saw a den that a closet. It's very small. Probably could be a bedroom, but it's a very small bedroom. Now, this is senior housing. The second floor has a master bedroom, 
which is quite large, and it has a sitting room, which is quite large, and a large bathroom. Now, I started looking at this thing. This is for two people, supposedly. Now, they're saying there's a bedroom on the first floor, there's a master bedroom on the second floor, and there's a sitting room that can be a bedroom. I can't find people. Can live in this place very comfortable. So I, I suggest that somebody take a look at this and uh, if they still want to go ahead, maybe design something that's, I'd like to see it all on one floor. Two floors that you have to climb stairs to get to the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Now downstairs you've got a bathroom which is almost as big as a whole bathroom, almost as big as the uh, bathroom stairs. Why you need two bathrooms that big? I see no, nothing there for like a walk-in shower or anything to, uh, for disabled people or anything. When you go over to the house, one of the units is going to be on the second floor. How do you put senior housing on a second floor? And believe me, the stairway going up to that thing is a long, steep stairway. I don't know if they'll change it. Sense to me. I don't see how you can use that uh, as a uh, senior housing. Okay, it's time for my good hearing. So, well, thank uh, you very much for your input. I'm not questioning. My time is up. Yes.